Hey guys, what's up? Anyway, this is gonna be a long vlog stream. This is just a vlog. Anyway, uh, yeah. So what I've been up to, as some of you guys may know, may have known about, if you guys pay attention to what I'm even doing, um, is uh, I didn't mean for that to sound as asshole as it came out, but uh, my, uh a lot of people don't really they'll they'll drop by on one of my videos, and according to my my uh, analytics, the most mo the most people watch is maybe up, up to about 15 seconds, and then they close out the video. So yeah so it's not so i might have a lot of views but uh just about everybody like pretty much like 85 percent of the people that come and look don't it don't actually watch my videos they just open it up for a couple seconds and close it out that's it so it's not like uh like i actually have people that are actually watching my shit so yeah that's why i haven't really posted much either but anyway um for those of you guys that do not know, um, I've been tinkering with the idea of porting uh, maps from Wrath of Lich King to the later expansion, such as Cataclysm, Mop, uh, Draenor. All right, it's 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 funny how we say cat we how people will say Cata or Cataclysm, and then for Mr. Pandaria they say Mop, but then when it comes to WOD to a world of Draenor, they they'll, they'll say Draenor instead of saying Wad. I don't hear a lot of people say what I, I hear more people say Drenor than whatever all right is it <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah it's interesting but anyway um, that's what I've been up to up to for the past three weeks and uh, I've for the most part I've pretty much got down maps that were custom scratch made from Talus to and and, and uh, Nugget but uh but when it comes to like blizzard type maps um i've been r running into like uh, back to back walls and, and issues and problems and the reason for that is because uh maps made in nugget are pretty simple they're pretty st straightforward um the things I'm, I'm having issues with with blizzard stuff is uh <clears throat> is uh is like uh, doodads game objects and and w most and uh yeah, with the uh, nugget maps, it's, it's straightforward. It's it's uh, um, it's uh, the IDs work as is, um, which is uh, w uh, uh, WMOs are allocated first, and then game objects and doodads, whatever it is after that. All right, um, and Blizzard is too, but Blizzard when they uh, uh, assign them to the chunk that that calls for them, uh, they don't put them in order. <laughs> And that creates a lot of issues, um, with with um, with um, what you call it with uh, with uh, nuggets stuff. Uh, it usually uh, puts it as as uh, uh, WMO IDs first, and then game objects. And uh, if there's no WMOs, it just just game objects, and then that's it. With like uh, with uh, Wrath's uh, Blizzard maps, however. Um, it could start off with game objects and then work into wrath uh, objects and then back into game objects and then you have to make a different handler for 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 that in in wrath it's only one one handler so it's not a big 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 deal um, you, you just put in one one chunk name and then that's the size of it and then whatever variables you have within that particular chunk in cataclysm they don't have just one name for both types of objects they have uh, two different ones. They, they they have one for WMOs, one for game objects, and so the issue comes in when when it flip flops and you have to insert another uh, a uh, another um a, uh, another uh, uh, chunk name, and yeah, all right. So that's where the issue issue comes in. And uh, and as to how do you write a handler for that, I don't really I, I don't really know. I, I, I sort of have something going on which uh, which is mainly for the nuggeted stuff because that's what I originally started with um, is uh, if, if it finds a it it looks for the number of, of how many w, uh, WMOs exist and then if it finds if, if the first few numbers is uh, is if the first number in the in in the spawn chunk is uh, within the, the range of w, uh, WMOs, it'll put in the, the chunk name to spawn w, uh, uh, WMOs. And then from there, it'll scan forward into the rest of the chunk and see if, and see if, uh, if there's uh, uh, any more WMOs, and if there is, then whatever. And then if there isn't, and if there's game objects, 
um, where does that start? Put in the eight bytes for where that starts at, and then re-shrink the the chunk size of of the of, of the WMO spawn name, and then go back to the uh, the MC and K's uh, chunk and and resize that by eight bytes or however or or have however many bytes that was uh, removed or added, and it gets and that's what it does for uh, Nugget files, and then for Blizz files, uh, it's 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 annoying. All right, so let's just get to it without more without talking about it some more. Um, if I if, if you're still watching, um, say something because I'd like to know. Uh, because most people should have already turned this off because I was just ranting about stuff. If you're skipping around, well, whatever. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so. First, I want to show you some custom maps that I've managed to port. These are from a, a, a user from uh, Owncorn and, and also mod, uh, ModCraft named uh, JBR373. Uh, and uh, yeah, so first off is uh, one ADT that I just one map ADT. And uh, yeah, so um, let's see. Uh, I had a. Uh, I, I had switched up the bushes that he had originally used because they made the game lag like hell um, because he used a type of grass that was uh, that was rather polygon intensive in wrath it doesn't s your view distance is lower and the st and 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 the, uh, and the model quality and the en and the engine is is just basically lower um, so it, it doesn't lag so bad and it spawns a little differently but in cataclysm and such it spawns in a very high density type of form and to where it'll lag it lag like hell like, like each one of these chunks is just basically a bush is well the uh, the bush is made up of like uh, one particular spawn is made up of like I think like six or so other bushes along with it so you get a bunch of polygons with it and so he has a like spawn like crazy all over the map so that's why I had to switch it out as you can see it's very thick all right and and and, and there's like like one here one here one here one here one here one here so it's just like six right six in this box right here but then have just having those six there it creates all this stuff and that's a lot of polygons where it's spawning there and a, and a lot of t uh, uh, alpha, uh, alpha textures going on and such and that can really bog down some people's computers and whatnot but anyway without that uh, that's that's not his fault it's just because uh, it, it, it was made for wrath so he, he made it with to that uh, game engine specifications and such but then when you put it to cataclysm and and uh, and, and upwards uh, things go go uh, crazy so anyway yeah so this is one custom map in cataclysm um, I'm not trying to make this video entertaining or nothing like that this is just me talking and just it's just showing what I've been up to for the past however many weeks and uh, yeah alright so yep alright and then an an another map I have is uh, another one of his which is uh, of Emerald Dream and uh, he basically took out a chunk of Emerald Dream and he just uh, added uh, textures to it and uh, added water and added trees and stuff to make it more I guess friendly instead of having a bright green area to go through and a really odd purple ground texture and such so this is the area all right and uh, let me turn on flight all right so uh, according to him his the, the start area that he that he has uh, designated for this map is over here so let me just walk over here but you guys can sort of see what's going on all right uh, this video should be in 60 FPS, I believe. I can't remember if that's what I set it to or not. I'm pretty sure it was 60 FPS. And so you, uh, if you're watching it in that, it should look pretty uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. All right, so, um, yeah, I didn't know there was, there was this little patch over here. But all right, cool. Um, yeah, so hmm, a little green here. That's not normal. <laughs> Oh well, uh, don't think I'm missing a texture. I think it's just he didn't patch over here. So because I had a uh, add a specular to all uh, all his textures, and this one was this wasn't in included. So this is probably just a regular uh, uh, Emerald Dream texture 
which I can probably just grab and just make a specular of. I just have to figure out which one it is, which isn't hard. It's just a little time consuming, that's all. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And uh, yeah, so if, if you uh, look, were to look at this map within uh, within Wrath of Lich King, it, uh, everything would be like, you'll have this green haze all, all over the place because of just the, uh, how the lighting works and uh, in this particular area. But then in Cataclysm, it's not like that, so it's kind of cool, or or even thicker per or thicker purple haze, depending on how you have it set up. Um, but yeah, all right. So as you can see, it looks really nice. I really dig it, and he has given me from uh, uh, uh permission to uh, re-release it or rather reshare it as a as a uh, uh, custom uh, uh, cataclysm or mob or drain or ma uh, map um, I haven't done it yet because well like there's no interest in it so pointless to even bother compiling and putting it together trying to trying to uh, get people to, to download it when no one's even interested so yeah if people show interest maybe I'll do it but otherwise no uh, no reason to bother with it um, this is done with my own tool that I made myself um, using uh, the uh, various information from the pxr.dk uh, 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 website that uh, has various definitions for, for, the, uh, 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 for the map ADT file structure. And um, yeah, I'm not using Imjano's tool. I haven't looked at her source code or how her file, how her program is compiled or nothing like that. This is just all my shit because it's mainly for my own le uh, learning purposes. It's, it's not for anybody else's benefits. It's just for my own benefit and uh, for my own, basically, my own uh, little fetish in life, which is just trying to learn new stuff whenever I can and uh, things that, uh, that I've been putting off and whatnot, and things that other people may be putting off and such. So, yeah. Anyway, um... So, so as, you, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, the doodads, whatever, and and uh, WMOs and, and and such, they spawn, and whatnot, and 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 their collisions work, and such. Um, so with with custom maps, I pretty much got a set. Uh, these things don't have any collision because that's well, that's normal. Uh, these things aren't supposed to have collision uh, normally anyway. They don't have any. Uh, but this guy put the uh, Draenor mushrooms here, so that's kind of cool. And the Draenor trees, and uh, the the trees don't look all that great in uh, in uh, in Wrath, but in Cataclysm, oh, they look so good. <laughs> all right, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much that for this particular map. Let's move on to the uh, main addition of this video, the main the main attraction. Um, is the word I was looking for. My bad. Uh, but this area looks nice too, the way how he did this little area, it, it looks very nice. Now you could put a bunch of mobs here or make this a mall if you wanted to, it's whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else to cover for this particular section. Uh, let's see, I, I, I like the way how he did this too, just separated this into like paths, whatever. You could do all kinds of interesting stuff here if you wanted to for some reason there is stuff like flowers and stuff in the air I'm not sure if he did that or if it's because of how I converted it there's also areas where there's grass in the air and uh, let's see if I can find those areas I think it's over here like where it shows like yeah some grass in the air so I believe it's over here now as you can see right there there's grass in the air and I don't know if he spawned it like that on accident or on purpose or whatever there's grass down here too, so it's not like it's uh, it's it's flipped off uh, like a flipped uh, uh, position. So yeah. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, let's move on. So yeah, huge ass fucking things. <laughs> Alrighty. Yep. So main back now to the main attraction, which is. Um, trying to get Kalimdor from Wrath, the pre-cataclysm one, 
into Cataclysm. And I'm setting it into a new, uh, it's it, its own map ID, so I don't clash with the original one. And uh, yeah, and also made a bunch of blank uh, ADTs so that I don't have to keep on re-enabling every damn tile that I make um, through the WDT file with Talus. So I just, uh, I, I, I just uh, used the original uh, uh, WDT and I made a bunch of blank uh, 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 ADTs in another folder to uh, to basically uh, so so I don't get a, a, an, an ADT not loaded error and uh, so I can just replace over rather than having to re-enable as I go and I'll show you what I mean in a little bit so uh, yeah so as you can see old Ogremore alright and um, not all objects are spawned because I can't figure out how to do all the objects because as I said before, Nugget, straightforward. Wrath, Blizzard Maps, not so much. It goes up and down, left and right, whatever. It, it, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's sometimes starts like it's going to be like all game objects and somewhere in the middle, it'll split and go into W modes, which is a pain in the ass. And, this, and then and, and it'll split back into game objects, which doesn't make any sense, but that's how it works. And same thing with then the other way around too. It'll start off as W modes, split into game objects, and then back at the end of it be more W modes, and then maybe game objects again. And it's uh, it's terrible. So yeah. Anyway, um, let's get to this. So let me just turn on my turn off some speed. Thirteen flight. All right. So I'll go back first and just show you that whatever. All right. So this is uh. This is uh, Wrath because there's no water in here. It's not that I didn't convert water because there's water over here. There's water all over uh, over here. It's just that here there's no water and over here it's not drenched in water because Wrath, right? Anyway, and there's water here. Yada yada yada. Okay, so um, there are there's a rock here. This rock here doesn't have any collision on it because this belongs into this ADT, which does not have its its objects uh, uh, converted. So as you, as you can see, I could go through it. I think it's the whole thing. Okay, so this part of that rock is within this ADT, and then the other parts of the rock is in the other ADT. So that's why there's no there's no collision right there. All right, and that's how that works. And yeah, okay. And then same thing with a, a part of this map, uh, a part of this uh, area. This uh, if uh, for those that don't know, uh, Ogremar and Wrath is just one huge WMO. This is just one big ass WMO. All right. Um, yeah, all right. So, anyway, if I uh, if I go over to the right, it's gonna blank out because I don't have this particular ADT on this side, it's 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 object files uh, done because I can't figure it out, um, and, and whatnot because of, of, of the whole complication. So, as you can see, it phase it, it just disappears. And if I go this way, it comes back because this one I have set, all right. Now, I'll sh I can prove that this isn't, uh, if there are still non-believers saying that, oh, you just replaced the WMOs, uh, I can go over here, you can see that this is not, this is not what it looks like in Cataclysm, <laughs> alright, um, and also over here in Ash Ashara, there's no goblin stuff, it's just what whatever it was originally here before, alright, this particular ADT that has this cave and these trees and whatever, and basically the only part that has anything on it um, took a long time to get working this one I had to do by hand this object file I had to do by hand and uh, not all not all of them have collision such as this particular tower doesn't have any collision all right uh, and I couldn't figure out how to set this one so I just skipped it and uh, so it should spawns in a sense but you have no collision all right uh, and various other things and whatnot so whatever anyway uh, these caves they have their collision set um, originally didn't because it's kind of like that like that that W mouse uh, same deal um, and whatnot so yeah so that one took a long time uh, let's see but I'll try to show you my conversion process so if anybody still thinks oh you're just using Jonas tool no I'm not but uh You'll see what I mean by area. Some areas work and some areas just crash. And yeah, okay. 
So, like, uh, let's see, this just goes in, in, into the C, right? Like, this is my blank space, like all these little uh, blank, uh, uh, blank ADTs, all right? These are my blank ADTs that I made just so I don't have to uh, re-enable in the WDT every time I uh, uh, make an, uh, uh, another tile, all right? And, uh, yeah. Okay, so, let's see, let me, um... Let's see, I'll go and, I don't really want to go this way, but m m uh, might as well. Uh, let's see, let's try going this way. So this one, so I'm, let me figure out what, AD, what ADT I'm on. I'll do a dot GPS, find my XYZ, my XY rather. Look it up in my calculator, be 25, 30, 31. And this one be a negative 5863, all right. And then at the, area I'm on is either 42 or 43 um, let me go over a bit so let me just figure out what ADT is here all right so uh, let me just go a bit more by GPS and uh, let's get this one instead so this one is 2551 and then uh, the next number is negative 6098 Okay, so I'm on 43 and 27, 43, 27. All right, so I'm going to convert that, and I'll show you how that works. So let me just go up a little bit, and let me just uh, log out. So I have to open up MPQ Editor naturally. Let me make a folder somewhere. I'm just, it doesn't matter where I make it, I just make it. I just make folders wherever. Uh, I'm going to just call it uh, converted stuff, whatever. Make another folder. It's just the way how I have it written. Uh, I have to make two folders, a folder within a folder. So I put a uh, uh, stuff. Okay. So um, I'll pull up the uh, the Wrath uh, uh, MPQ file for the maps. Um, should be common two, was it? I think I can't remember. Uh, world maps and then calendar. All right. So the map I'm on is. Uh, 43 27 43 27 okay so 43 43 27 I'll just right click extract and extract it to this folder all right and now I'll just do a plain name uh, skip file size zero just in case it is zero I don't know and then I uh, take out the extension all right I uh, haven't figured out how to remove extensions yet from uh from uh from file name strings so i just take it off in advance and i have to rename this because my custom map is named at uh, uh calendar dos all right and i just run my little thing I'll just do adt6 and uh just run this let that go through this is going to take a little, a little while um the root adt takes about 10 to 15 seconds to to uh, uh, generate um the next file takes about 15 seconds I think about 15 seconds the next one takes about another 15 seconds so it's it's it's, it's not a fast process by any means but uh, but yeah it's just for my own practice learning etc and you can't get better at something unless you practice and 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 what I'm practicing here isn't necessarily just doing wild shit it's also coding uh, learning how to code learning various operators and various functions and how to use them together to uh, to achieve a, a particular effect and such so I'm not just doing this for the pure reason of, uh, of doing something for a while this is basically uh, learning that stuff all right anyway so this should be almost done once it's done once it's done I'll just show you the like what what I would do after after that and such all right so there's that anyway so it makes the files here and then the batch file will make it go back out we'll basically put it to it to the folder uh, previous to it and so I get them, so I get them here so I'll do the texture and and the root uh, 82 first because the object will most likely just crash all right so uh, so if I put the stuff into my MPQ folder, all right, and uh, if I go back in game, I'll, I'll have the land spawned and such, and, and the textures, I just won't have any objects, all right? So as you can see right there, there we go, all right? So there's that, and uh, let me just turn this back on. 
So there's this huge gap right there now, but that's fine. Oops, make this make the back go a little faster. All right, so there you go. So there's that that uh, uh, ADT, and having those blank ones there allows me to just basically add it in, like I was like I showed you, and it just overwrites whatever's there and such. So there you go with that, and as as you can see, it does water too. So there's here's the water and such. So now if I try to add the object, you'll see it just crash. And it's because I haven't figured out how to do that properly yet. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to crash. If it doesn't, I'll be surprised, but I'm pretty sure it will. So let's just go. Let's see how this goes. Crash. Oh, no, it didn't crash. All right, cool. Um, <coughs> sometimes it crashes. Sometimes it don't. Um... Sometimes it, it'll seem like it works, but then there's no collision, and then the next thing you log in, it crashes. So, uh, yeah, it does that. So, there's these things here now. Okay, so there's doodads now. That's cool. So, this, so that one particular worked. Um, doesn't always do that. Uh, oftentimes, I just hit an error. Like this one here, This there's one that goes here. That I, I just get an error with that one every time I try it uh yeah okay so let's keep going and uh yeah so i'll do another one just to, just as a show and tell and, and then i'll just wrap up this video but uh let's go to the next one over so this one was we were at um where were we at we were at 30 43 27 so the next one i need to do is a uh, 44 27 which would be going to the right so 44, 27, so here, and then 44, 27, and then I guess we could do 45, 27, why not? Let's just do that. So uh, I'll just uh, put this back into this folder. All right, paste this in, hit OK. Remove the extensions. All right, and uh, such. Okay, and then I just run the same command, WC ADT 6. All right, let that go. It's gonna take a while. Minimize this, just so it doesn't like uh, uh, add any complications to the process. And yeah, so this is probably a long video. I don't, I don't know how long it's gonna be. Let's see what what OBS says. OBS says twenty seven minutes. All right, so that's gonna be a while. Um, what 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 were my frame settings at? Sixty. All right. So the video should be sixty frames per second if you're watching it in, in uh, Google Chrome or, uh, or uh, yeah. I think I've only gotten the sixty FPS to work to to actually load or play in a uh, Chrome. Firefox doesn't seem to do it. Firefox just plays at at, at thirty. Uh, Internet Explorer um, plays it really slow for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with my IE. Uh, I used to use it for all sorts of things, so that's probably why. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Um, I don't have any plans on releasing this because it's really buggy. It's not perfect, and it, uh, if you're probably better off using M M Jono's tool, if 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 you uh, want to basically up convert maps, um, if you're in the area to learn something, I would I would suggest um, um, try and make your own. Uh, but it's up to, up to you whatever you're more comfortable with uh yeah let's see so da, 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 da. come on this one always takes a long time 20 seconds usually and and the bigger the file the longer it takes like like this is almost two megabytes right that that's why it takes 20 seconds like there are some adts that are only like like 400 kilobytes large like or like five 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 hundred those things only only take like like 10 seconds to uh to process but bigger ones take so long uh and it's just because of what it has to do and such so yeah so let's let's do this and not copy the obj's yet let's just uh i have to rename those I did not rename those because I'm an idiot. So uh, let me just rename it with uh, with this tool. So uh, put this in here. Select these. Uh, let, me, let me just 
keep the name here first. Copy, paste, BLS, and then click here, click here. And Calendro Dels. Alright, cool. Your name, yada. Okay, cool. Close that out. Get these. Unselect the LBJ files. And then go back in. Or get out first. <laughs> and then go back in. And it should load and not crash. But it could still crash because it's not perfect. Alright. Um but you can see there you go it loads all that like it's supposed to let me make this a little faster and uh yeah alrighty so there you go um if you want to see if the object thing will crash or not we'll see let's see what happens if i try to put that in so uh there's some weird blending stuff going on here that's interesting i could probably just take that out if i just modified the blending flag uh which if i i guess release this i probably will um or whatever let's see but other than that it looks okay it's just probably because this area i guess you're not supposed to be able to get to anyway so it doesn't have like doodads on it anyway either so we'll see uh i don't know I, I don't really remember this part of the map very well it's been a long time it's been ages since i went through this area uh but yeah let's see what happens so i'll do the first one the obj this one i don't know we'll see what happens i'll do uh first one if this one loads cool if not we'll try the other one. Oh, okay error okay so that one's not gonna go so we so take that one out all right let's try the other one let's do this one Come on, you've got to work. One of these has to work. <laughs> mm. So this one probably crashed too, but uh, yeah, it's a hit or miss. Um, okay, that one loaded. Cool. Whoa. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Okay, so whatever. So this one works. That that's cool. Uh, anything down here? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Just water. So a, a leg collision works. That's cool. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's um, that's basically this vlog. Uh, thanks for checking this out. If anybody actually did watch it, um, l l I don't know. Leave a thumbs up because uh, or or uh, let me know because I don't know who actually watches my my stuff because. 85% of people that shows on the analytics will just close out the videos after about 10-15 seconds of, 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 of the video clip so I really don't have a clue who uh, if um, if anybody's actually been watching my stuff uh, but other than that there's pretty much nothing else to cover uh, let's see what do I have over here there, there, there was one ABT I was curious about so I want to try to cover it not cover it, but just get that one done and I probably won't uh, continue this after I stop recording so I'll, I'll just do it now and uh, yeah so let me get to the end of this road and figure out what ABT is after the end of it oops and ah, <laughs> I like this water because it goes like a slide. Just wee. Okay. Anyway, uh, road, 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 road. This should be a road here. All right, cool. And then uh, over here, there's an ABT here. Uh, okay. So dot GPS, and this one is um two two o four. Oops. Then uh negative two five o one. So this is 36 by 27, 36 by 27. So I'll go back into here, go on to 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36 by 27. Right click, extract to that folder. I uh, just go in here, okay, take this out, go here, paste this in, take out the extension, rename it. Extension and rename this to DOS. All right. And then I uh, just re rerun the thing, so if you see 86. All right, so let that one go through, and uh, yeah, so 
camp. Get out of there. All right. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, the tool right now is currently written in O N O editor until I can get it proper, and then uh, if I can get it to work better, um, then uh, I'll I'll uh, put it to uh, Visual Studio. If I can't, I'll just I'll still put it to Visual Studios later. But um, but uh, the reason why I do it in O N O is because it's just it, it's it's just it's a pre-compiled uh, language. So um, it's more of a markup language, so it's easier and faster just to get quick stuff done instead of having to write your own uh, functions. And um, yeah, so I, I like doing it in 010 first, and once I get the basic idea down, then I'll move over to uh, visual and I'll put it into there. But otherwise, uh, I'm not gonna do it that way. So. Yeah, so if I can't figure it out, I'll just put it, I'll, I'll still put it to, to a, a, a visual, then I'll probably end up releasing it as just for a Nugget only tool and whatever and such. But <clears throat> yeah, okay, so let's, so, uh, let's try this out. So my voice is starting to go out. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so that's, that, that, did, that did not help at all. So I probably need water, but uh, so let's try to get this without the uh, OBJ. See how this goes, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> if anybody's wondering why my name, the name I'm 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 using the word uh, the name Philip now is uh I stopped I, I got tired of using Anthony I and uh, whatnot. Um, previous to that was Steve. Uh, if anybody's wondering where I get my names from, like why I have so many freaking names, <laughs> it's because. A bunch of girls always forget what my name is like all like every so often like every every several months all uh i'll uh, i'll meet some new girls whatever and then they'll always forget my name and for some freaking reason so uh which a lot, a lot of people a lot of people don't know my real name which is fine um that's just it's it's fine i don't have an english name so and uh if and a lot of people that know my real name they make fun of it because of how the, the english letter the English letters for it is how it's spelled, but uh, the actual the the actual actual uh, uh, pronunciation of the name is a uh, tu, all right. It's 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 not tu. It's a uh, tu. You have to say it in a higher pitch. Uh, you start with low and then you go up. So it's, uh, so it's tu. So you have to say it that way, and uh, that's uh, that's 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 my actual name. But um, but a, a lot of people don't aren't able to remember that for some reason or, or they can't re uh, remember the uh, pronunciation which is fine because a lot of people uh, don't uh, uh, well uh, in, uh, in the English language doesn't have that particular sound so naturally it's a little difficult so people especially girls have been giving me my own like uh, like another name um, <clears throat> uh, I, I used I have another name that's uh, called a uh, crazon and uh, that mainly stood for crazy Asian, and 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 that was from like my black friends. Uh, they couldn't remember my name, so so so, so they kept calling me crazy Asian because of the shit that, that I would do, and uh, and and the stuff that I would spit during like freestyles and stuff, and uh, and <laughs> and so they would call me uh, uh, crazy Asian, and then eventually they just started calling me Crazon, so uh, which is just a play off of of that of those two words. And then and such and then back to my other names girls have called me uh, Steve they called me Philly they called me Philip they called me um, Anthony Tony they called me Bronx they called me James uh, uh, I a lot of names all right so it it's so it's just what I tell people to do if they can't remember my, my real name just give me a general name that they could use that they can uh, uh, remember and it'd be funny because because it'd be at work and they'd be like Philip and I'll turn around and then my mom be like and then everybody around be like what why are you talking to them like why are you, why are you calling for uh, uh, that name and I mean that's just how that's just how it works it's kind of funny but yeah anyway um <clears throat> so that's pretty much that uh yep yeah, so cool got this other chunk this other section to show up uh do 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 okay 
So let's try to do the OBJ, which is probably just gonna crash, but let's try anyway. So, uh, camp, get out of here. And do 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 uh, do, 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 do. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, I, 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 I quit. So uh, let me delete this. <laughs> well, I, I could look at it and see what might be wrong with it. Like what I usually do when I debug it is I'll just look up the the KNC image, make sure I still have 256, and then after that look through here. All right. So usually these are uh how this is a WRCM, this is a DRCM. Usually, like in Wrath, uh, it uses a uh, a, uh, a, uh, a FRCM for both basically where these are at. So instead of having two uh, different names for uh, for this, uh, it would just be a, 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 a FRCM and then the chunk size and then and then and then the chunk after that up to where the next uh, uh, MC and K starts. All right, or or uh, uh, K and CM, and uh, so when you put into uh, into Cataclysm, you have to s separate. So um, the amount of WMOs is denoted by uh, by. Let me just get to it real quick. So by the uh, not this one. This is the the uh, NDX, but uh, plus six, eight. Uh, this one the DIWM so basically the chunk size so the chunk size of here is uh, 16 bytes long divide that by 4 which is 4 so you have a total WMO count of 4 all right and the IDs go from 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 I believe 0, 04 should be the where the what the uh, M2s start and um, according to my understanding of it and it has worked for for noggin maps but um, for some reason in here in blizzard maps that's not always the case for some reason even though though it denotes as four WMOs total sometimes so the ID 4 should be a doodad not a WMO and ID 5 should be so on and so forth but for some reason in some cases um, 0405 even though the, den the uh, denoted um, amount is 4 WMO so that would be from ID 00 to 03. Uh, 0405 are sometimes a WMO and if you don't set it as a WMO it crashes but other times if you set it as a WMO it crashes again those are actually M2s and doodads so I'm not sure where that's located where um, where uh, how that's even defined if you, if you can even uh, break that apart and figure out exactly what's really going on and such and it might be within this MDDF I don't know if it's within here that but I, I haven't really gone through and tried to understand what's in here yet uh, but yeah so that's where the current issue stands so like let me just go through here and see if I can see anything that looks wrong like right off the bat like I've been staring at this shit for a long time, so usually if there's something wrong, I I can pretty much see it like right off the bat. But uh, yeah, so it's it's pretty annoying. It's um it's 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 not super easy stuff. Uh, but these all look fine. This one is weird. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, that and that's fine. 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 How how big is this recording? I wonder. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Ooh, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. 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 Do 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 do. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So where is this one having issues at? An uh, another way to check, cause I'm, it, 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 I'm, I'm just looking at at the last few, uh, before the next uh, MCNK, 
and uh, seeing uh, if there's an, an issue an issue there or not but it could be somewhere in the middle which is where I'm not looking so if it's in the middle I'm not gonna miss it but uh, yeah so so far these look fine when it comes to uh, the, the last few bef before the next uh, chunk starts uh, so I'm not sure where the area is at so to figure that out I'd have to go through it one by one which is kind of a hassle to do but it well it kind of gets the job done um and that one's fine uh do, 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 that one's fine uh fine 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 do, do, do. that's fine that's fine that's fine uh yep this is gonna take a while i don't know why i'm even still recording <laughs> if you guys are still watching uh you guys shouldn't be because i'm not doing anything right now i'm just trying to debug my own shit and trying to figure out what's going on here but i'll probably have to end up doing it one by one just to try to get it to work at least that's the idea that i have in my head right now um let's see that's fine that's fine that's fine see yeah I don't I, I don't see any issues that would be causing it directly um, only thing that might be the issue is that some of these uh, like here I'll show you what I'm talking about so I'll, I'll do this by hex just to show this a little easier um, go to hex and do a search for this and I'll uh, I'll uh, just do a couple of question marks, a couple of them. Oops. Question, 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 question. I should, I, I should just copy and paste question marks, but whatever. Uh, I don't think you have to put spaces in there, but it's just a habit. All right, so search that. And then just go through it and see if I see anything that looks really strange. And sometimes I do. Like, let's see. So this is the DRCM. So this is the KNCM. And then this is for W mode. So this thing has four. So it should, it should go up to zero to three. So this one has an ID. This is the chunk size. This is eight bytes. This one has an ID of one and an ID of three. Those are W modes. And after this is the is the um the uh, game objects and then this is the chunk size of 32 bytes right and then after that is the 06 078 58c ce block now i'm not sure if that's really how it goes if this six this seven this eight is really um is really m2 so i'm not sure if that is actually w mode because when you when it comes to M2s, it gets crazy. Like this is 58 here, which is uh, which is the which is 88, uh, which is um, where the where that particular title starts, I think, or the ID. I, I'm I'm not sure if it's ID or where the title starts within the uh, within the file name uh, strings. And then there's this 8C, which is string size uh, 40, uh, 1, 140, which again I'm not sure is if if it's a start position or whatever. I haven't looked into it, but yeah. So that's where my dilemma is right now, is not knowing if, uh, because if you look, all these other ones start as 3A, 3A, 2, 2, uh, this is a 7, this is a 5A, 3A, blah. And there's not a whole lot that starts off with uh, with low numbers like, uh, like that. So it's a little, it's very confusing to me, but there are times when I, ha when I have tried to write those portions as a WMO and I get an error. Right, and so yeah, there's things like that. So I'm not completely sure how it all works out. If 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 anybody like knows how this particular chunk works, I'd be open to the uh, to um, to any information. But uh, yeah, so 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 far I'm pretty much just uh, solo on uh, on this. Um, I'm a stubborn person, and uh, I 
don't like to uh, if I can help it I try not to uh, ask for help and I try not to uh, not to involve other people into my own projects because I don't want to give them uh, have give them the uh, or just base uh, make them feel burdened and uh, and such so yeah it's just, it's just how I am how I feel it's just how it is uh, but anyway thanks for checking this out see you guys later bye bye how do you stop this? Just stop, right? Alright, cool.